Come in. Come and see the new house. Hey, first room is the lounge room. where the garage comes through. The garage has even got a remote control. First bedroom. This will be one of our little boys' bedrooms. I love the view out this window. Have a look at that mountain. Gorgeous. Nice big tiles right through. And this will be Gussie's room. So this is the third bedroom. Another fan. Bigger wardrobe. Ah! <laughs> Way before you even mentioned it, I by the way. I thought you might be in there too, and it still scared me. Uh, this neighborhood's not going to know what hit it. Down the hall we go. Did he just come down and hop in another cupboard? <laughs> this will be our room, it's the main bedroom. Got a fan. Aircon, hopefully that's a reverse cycle aircon too. And our window looks out onto the deck. Neighbours, oh my goodness. <laughs> we got people for neighbours instead of cows. Okay, it's got a little walk-in robe. This is where Colette's gonna lock me when I'm a naughty boy. And this is the ensuite, a little bathroom off of the main bedroom. Ah! <laughs> Not fair. <laughs> Light, fan, heat. Oh, this has got it too. Heat. Pretty tricky. <laughs> okay, show you the wonderful shower. Okay, so that's that's our bedroom. This is the main bedroom with a walk-in robe and an ensuite, and all the bedrooms have got carpet. On our door. And now the main bathroom. This is the main bathroom. It's got a bath, shower, and vanity, and basin. Separate toilet. I love separate toilets. I hate toilets being in bathrooms. 
Um, let us know, in UK and America, is it common to have a separate toilet like this, or do you have all your toilets inside the bathroom? Um, when I was growing up, we always had a separate toilet in the house, but the last house we've lived in had the house inside the bathroom, and I really <laughs> had the house inside the bathroom. The last house we lived in had the toilet in the bathroom, and I hated it. Every time you went to have a bath, someone wanted to use the toilet and stink up the whole bathroom. So I love a separate toilet. This is a little laundry. Laundry cupboard built in. So the washing machine goes in here. And that's your broom cupboard. For your mops, brooms, all that sort of jazz. Mm -hmm. You've got storage up there. That's where the fridge will go. Microwave, stove, oven. Dirty dishes will go there. Sink. Tricky plugs. dishwasher has had two legs for the last 15 20. years. <laughs> 22 there years. Out That's our dishwasher out there. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know what we're talking about. <laughs> you dishwasher. <laughs> and out this sliding door is the side deck or veranda. Uh, a perch might have to be out the front. A porch is out the front of the house, I don't know. Yeah, this is the side. So this is a patio. Yeah. I might call this a patio. Our patio. Oh, patio. Join us on the patio. Join us on the patio. With a cup of tea. Cup of tea, love. And crumpets. Cup of tea and crumpets. Oh, look at that. I can see people. And this is our yard. That's our book. Patio. So it's a nice big deck. What a lovely deck you have. High fences. Good for a big dog. And that's our clothesline. Do you just have clotheslines like this overseas? A hill's hoist. Hill's hoist were actually invented in Australia many, 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 many years ago. One of Australia's Brilliant inventions, the Hills Hoist clothesline. And when we were kids, we used to swing around on them and get in big trouble. Get off that clothesline! I wouldn't want to see you do it now. <laughs> and you got this little rainwater tank that collects rain off the roof, and the water out of this is used to flush the toilets. takes the water from the tank there and pushes it inside to flush the toilets and also the taps in the yard outside. Kangaroo poo. There's been a kangaroo in the yard. Come in for this green grass on the side when the gate was left open. And here we are back at the front. <laughs>